Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my summer favorites. Now, you probably noticed in June, I did not share a favorites video. I decided I already had a packed editorial calendar and I thought, you know what? I think I am going to wait until the end of summer and share one whole summer favorites video with you guys. And some of you might be wondering, um, it's not the end of summer. Summer actually just started. I'm a teacher. I go back to school in August, the first part of August. So for me, it kind of marks the end of summer, even though calendar wise, it is not. Now, usually when I share these videos, I have four planning and organizing favorites and then two lifestyle favorites. But this month I have done it a tad bit differently. I just took a list pad and I started at probably the beginning of the summer, writing down some of my favorite things and whatever was on the list is what I'm gonna share with you today. So it's actually eight items. There are four planning and organizing favorites and then four lifestyle favorites. Now bear with me on some of these things. You, when I share some of them, you're probably gonna be like, yeah, you've already talked about that. That's why I made my summer favorites list because I have loved these products so much. So the first one is the Papermate Ink Joy gel pen and I think this is the size 0 0.7 I did not even realize there was two sizes until somebody pointed it out to me so I like this um, 0 0.7 I'm not sure if I have the 0 0.5 now for me the 0 0.7 works great because I like the thicker ink now I purchased these pens at the beginning of summer just to try out because I, I saw several people on Instagram mentioning how much they like the Paper Mate Ink Joy pens. So I thought I will get the small set of the black ones. I think it came in a set of four and I will try them out. Well, immediately I loved them so much that I went on Amazon and I added a set of 12 to my um, existing order. And here's how I do Amazon. I don't have Amazon Prime. So normally what I do, like right now I have a huge cart and I have it in the save for later area. And then as I get paid, I'll move items up to my cart. So I just added these to my cart and then once it hit like $49 and I got paid, I made that purchase. That's usually how I work Amazon because now instead of $35, you have to spend $49 to get free shipping. And y'all know I'm all about free shipping. So if you like gel pens and you have not tried out the Inkjoy gel pens, I highly recommend them. My second favorite thing should come as no surprise. You've seen them on several of my videos and they are my absolute favorite binders and that is the Better Binders from Staples. Now I have these binders in two different sizes in a wide variety of colors. I have used them for DVD storage. I have used them for my Binders 101 series. That is a medical binder, an emergency binder. I have manuals in one. I have taxes in one. One is for me, one is for my husband, and one is for our home. Those, All of those binders are are in a different color so that I can tell them apart. So when I walk into my office, I know the yellow binder is my home binder so I don't even have to look at any labels. Now, for my stickers organization, I decided to go with all white. And that is to make sure that I can tell the difference when I walk into my office because they're all in the same area. So when I walk into my office and I check my craft station, I know exactly where to go for my sticker binders and I know exactly where to go for my binders 101 binders. For my sticker binders, if you did not see my sticker organization video, it was my last video. I'll make sure to link that below. So I've got these in several different sizes and I love them both. Now, what's the great thing about these and why should you buy them over others? They are a little bit more expensive, I think, than something you can get from the Target dollar spot. But I did not realize that binders have gotten so expensive. So actually, the, um, the bigger binders I have seen aren't that much more expensive than the binders you can get in the regular section at Walmart and Target. These binders are plastic. So I think that a plastic binder is gonna last you a lot longer than the hard cardboard type of decorative binder. I like that when you open it up, the rings are on the back of the binder. It's not on the spine. I think it allows the rings to stay intact 
and it keeps them looking nice and not broken. So these binders, I've had my Binders 101 binders for probably three or four years and they still look brand new and that is with several different moves. So I cannot rave about these binders enough. They are located at Staples and all of mine I have purchased on staples.com. My third favorite thing should not come as any surprise either because I've shared numerous pictures on Instagram and I've talked about it in several videos and that would be my Polaroid Zip. Now if you're wondering the decal on the front is a Chrissy Ann Designs decal and I'll make sure to link that below in case you were interested in that. This was a purchase that I was very hesitant about buying at the end of May. I had wanted one for a while, but I wasn't really sure if it was worth the money. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll buy it, and I'll just see if I like it or not. I got the warranty off of Amazon in case something happened to it. So immediately, I used it the first time, and I thought, why did I not get this earlier? So I'm very happy with this purchase. If you've heard my external hard drive story, you know why I bought the case. I lost, in case you did not know, my external back in 2014 had four years worth of documents, short story, long story short, had four years worth of documents. I had it on my kitchen counter. I accidentally knocked it off and it hit the floor and basically everything on there was, would not open. It just spun and showed no documents. So I sent it in to the company. They told me it was gonna cost me $2,000 to recover all of the documents I had lost. Well, I wasn't paying the $2,000, so I used it as a lesson learned. So now my external stays in a case nonstop, and so does my Polaroid zip. So it's got a cushioned little case that I use here for it. It's strapped in. The cord goes there. I got this with it off of Amazon. I'll put a link below. So not my next video, but my next video will be on the um, Polaroid Zip review. So I will give you, show you how I use it, how it looks in my planner, if I would purchase it again, and anything else that may come to my mind that I think I need to share with you guys. But if you have been on the fence about making a purchase for the Polaroid Zip, just just make it. Basically, I'm going to use my Polaroid Zip to record special memories in my planner. My fourth favorite thing is a Facebook group, and it is one that I found in May after I had seen all of their first planner conference pictures, and everybody that I was following had gone to this conference, and I thought, oh, I want to go to a planner conference. So I found out that this group had a Facebook group. It is called Planners Gone Wild Uncensored. Now I'm gonna make sure to put the link to the group below, but it is called Uncensored because it does contain cuss words. People do cuss, they share pictures with cuss words in it, but if it's not your thing, you can just scroll past it. Also, the admins are not going to come on there and delete content like certain groups do. If there's an argument that breaks out, they just leave it. They let it kind of hash itself out. So you might be wondering, well, why would you want to join this group? I'm a planner person. There are 21,000 plus planners in this group, shop owners, everything. Planner experts are in this group. So you just have to kind of bypass all of the bad stuff to get to the good stuff. So I highly recommend it if you don't mind the cuss words, but I'm gonna give you a few words of wisdom. Number one, do not ask what a llama is. Make sure that you read the pinned post, watch the pinned videos, then they're hilarious. Amanda's videos are hilarious. I, I seriously sat here and laughed out loud watching the videos, and some of them I've watched more than once. So next, do not bring up personal information on the group. It just usually does not end well, especially if you are a newbie. I'm a newbie, I just started in May, so I've kind of done some lurking on the group, some kind of just watching. I'll post my planner spreads, I'll comment here and there, but I don't full blown bring up a conversation and I sure don't bring up anything personal. 
So just bear in mind that if you do that, you might get um, attacked. It's just, you'll learn it in the pinned videos. Um, next thing I would not do is uh, delete a post because there are people that save them and they will screenshot it and put it back up there. So just make sure that you read the pinned post, you watch the pinned videos, only keep it planner related and you're good. If there's something that I need to know that's planner related and I can't find it out, I would just post a question on that group and within seconds there's somebody that has told me exactly what I need to know. For example, I have these little bitty stickers that I was having the hardest time putting on my planner spread. I would put it down and somehow my finger would push it off to the side. So I just got on the group and I asked, um, how in the world do y'all put the teeny tiny stickers on your planner spread? And within two minutes, I had like 10 different replies. So if you keep it planner related, you're good. Now we're to my four lifestyle favorites. And the first two I'm going to talk about are actually shoes flip-flops, summer shoes. I am a flip-flop person. The first one I'm going to talk about is actually on my foot right now, so I'm going to have to take it off. And let me tell you how I found this. The Javianas that I mentioned last summer, the black ones, the slim Javianas that I mentioned last summer on my favorites video, I think it was July. Funny story, not even a month after I filmed that video, my shoe broke. And I thought, I've sat here and said how much I love these sandals. I raved about them. And within a month, they broke. Now, granted, I wore them every single day. And I'd had them. I'd only had them since the beginning of summer. So I thought, I'm not going to repurchase those. If those broke, I need to find something new. So one of my coworkers, um, towards the end of the school year, Walked into my room as we were testing, and I'm like, oh my gosh, those are the cutest flip-flops. Where did you get those? And she was like, oh, these are Sanooks. I was like, oh, I love Sanooks. Can you tell me where'd you get those? And she told me where she got them. Well, of course me. I'm not going to pay full price for a pair of shoes. So I searched for them online and found them at a discount, and I purchased them. And they are the Sanook Selene flip-flops. S-E-L-E-N-E. -E. I mean, you can tell, look at my feet indentions. You can see I've wore these nonstop all summer long. These are the shoes that I wore on the beach when we went to the beach. I mean, I'm at least wearing these shoes probably four or five times a week. I absolutely love them. They come in many different um, colors, and I can't rave about them enough. And I thought, I have kind of a fat foot. So when I ordered them, I was kind of leery because I thought, okay, it's got the little double strap. I mean, that little thing here is going to catch on the fat part of my foot. And it didn't. They are very comfortable. They are, they almost feel like you're not wearing flip-flops at all. So I highly recommend these Sanook Selene flip-flops. And my second shoe summer favorite is actually a pair of Chacos. Now, Chacos, if you get them in the lady size, are a tad bit expensive. Um, let me explain the story behind me getting the Chacos before I show you my pair. I'll try to keep it short. Okay, I had ordered my daughter a pair of Chacos. She said, well, they're a little bit big, but I'll grow into them. They sat in her closet for a single month. She didn't act interested in them. I paid 30 like $38 for them. So I finally went in there and I was like, you know what? I'm wanting a pair of Chacos. And here, my daughter has a pair of Chacos sitting in her closet that I swear she's not going to wear. So I asked her and she said, well, you know, I don't really think I'm going to end up wearing them. I just don't think that they fit. So I sent them back and I decided to order myself a pair of Chacos. So I'd already spent the $38 on her. The pair I'd picked out was, I think, $100. I got them off of ShoeBuy.com when ShoeBuy had $30 off a $100 order. So these ended up costing, I want to say about 60 something dollars with, um, and then I'd already paid the $38. So at that moment that I got them, I was only out about $33, I think. So in my mind, I was like, okay, this is a good time to get them. So I ordered my first pair, and I got the ones that were the thin straps. I tried them on, and I'm thinking, uh, um, something looks stretched out about one of the straps. And I'm like, I think this has too much 
too much strap on this. I mean, it's too loose on my foot. My husband looked at it and was like, yes. So I decided not to get those strappy type of Chacos. I decided to try one that had the thicker straps. And I ended up loving them. So these are the shoes that I got. So between this pair of Chacos and the Sanook Celine Flip Flops, these are probably the only two shoes I feel like I have wore all summer. I've wore them just to death. These I wore on vacation anytime we would be walking a lot. So when we did the outlet shopping, I wore these because they, y'all, they've got such good support. And so I had to write down, I had to look up the name and write them down because the name is a little bit different. So I'll make sure to put the name down here so that you know exactly what they are when you go and look for them. And of course, I'll put in the description where you can get these, but they are the Z. Volve, V-O-L-V, the number two, in the Mosaic Cobalt. And I like this print because it looks like there are tiny crosses on the straps. And the thicker straps have worked a lot better for me. So if you were on the fence about getting a pair of Chacos because of the money, I have worn mine to death. And I will probably get a new pair next summer because I like them that much. And for me to say that about an expensive shoe is a lot. I do not go out and buy expensive shoes. It's just not something that I do. But these have been worth the 60 something dollars that I paid. Now the next thing that I'm going to talk about is something I have used in the last month for walking. Now do y'all guys remember the fanny pack? Yes. The little pouch thing that went across your waist that you could put your wallet and your keys and your sunglasses. Well, when I was at TJ Maxx, they had an updated, I would consider, little fanny pack. And I thought, oh, I really need that for my cell phone for when I am walking. I walk with my cell phone because I use um, the Pandora app for um, when I'm walking. So, I decided to get this little thing here. It's called My Tagalongs. And My Tagalongs sells different types of little packs like this that strap onto your waist. This is like a little neoprene fabric. And it is wonderful. I'm able to put my cell phone in this little pocket here. Let me show you. So, here's my cell phone. And I just kind of stick my cell phone in the little pocket like that. And I'm able to walk, get my cell phone out easily if I need to change the station on Pandora. And before I got this little nifty little pouch here, I was actually sticking my cell phone in the side of my shorts, which is not good. I don't think it's good for you to have your cell phone against your skin. That's just my personal opinion. So it makes me feel a lot better that I have my cell phone in a pouch now and it's not held against my body. Okay, my last favorite thing for the summer is a pair of glasses. Now, let me show you guys. I don't even, you're probably not even going to be able to see this on camera. But I purchased, it's been almost four years ago, a pair of coach reading glasses from, I want to say it was Lens Crafters. So I've had this since I was pregnant with my son, and my son is now three. So, I paid, oh my gosh, I think with the frames and everything, close to $400. Now, since I have purchased these, I don't think you can kind of tell, but the lens is really scratched up. Like, to the point where I could not wear these to work, or if I did, it was very distracting because both of my lenses had scratches on them. To, I don't know if I dropped it on concrete and I scratched the lens, but the scratches are in a place that kind of is distracting when I'm looking through them. And I thought, Lord, I have got to have a new pair of glasses. But I do not have $400 to spend on a new pair of glasses. And you're probably thinking, well, just don't get the coach glasses. Nope, doesn't work that way. Because when I went to Lens Crafters and I got these, I did not go in Lens Crafters with the idea that I was going to buy some coach eyeglasses. 
But after quoting, but after finding a pair that I liked of the cheaper frames and the coach frames, you guys, it was like $50 difference. So I'm thinking if you're going to spend $350 on a pair of glasses, you know what? You might as well get the ones that you really, really liked. That is the only reason that I got the coach ones. I would have gone with the cheaper ones. It really is not a thing for me to have coach on the side of my eyeglasses. So, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to spend the extra $50 because I plan on having these for a long time. I don't go out and buy multiple pairs of eyeglasses. So, I kept these almost four years. And I thought, you know, I need a pair of eyeglasses to go on vacation. I don't need to carry the scratched up ones. It's hard for me to see. It's just not good for my eyes. And I thought, Lord, I don't have the $400 to spend on a pair of eyeglasses. And then one of my co-workers came to work. She had broke her eyeglasses and she came in the next week with the cutest frames. And I said, where in the world did she get those? And she said, I got these off this discount website and I paid like 20 bucks for these eyeglasses. And I'm thinking, no way. So I said, please write that information down. So she wrote that information down for me. And I thought, you know, this has got to be a joke. She paid $20 for those cute frames. So I got online and of course I did my reviews. And I got on the website, and she was serious. There were, and I looked it up on Instagram, there was tons of pictures with people that had bought these cute frames from this discount eyeglass place. So, I ended up purchasing a pair. These cost me 30 I think, $38. And here is what they look like. They look really similar to my old ones. I like the black... Um, I like black eyeglasses and you guys I really wanted to cry when these came in and they worked on my face I'll pop up a picture here of me trying them on and I don't want to put them on right now because if you see it glares on camera that's why you never see me wearing my eyeglasses on film because I don't want to have a big glare in my face but y'all I really seriously wanted to cry when these came in and they were such high quality and I don't think I've mentioned where I got them from it is Zenny I'm not sure how you pronounce it I'll put it down here Z-E-N-N-I -N -N -I, eyewear it came with a little plastic case it came with a little cloth to clean my glasses and I seriously you guys was so ecstatic when I got these glasses in that were nice quality and I only spent $38. I wrote on Instagram about it and I hope I helped some of you guys and I hope I'm helping some of you guys right now that need eyeglasses but don't want to spend $400 for a pair. I highly recommend them and in the future I will continue to purchase from this company because I was so happy with my purchase. And that is all for my summer favorites. I hope you've enjoyed all of my favorite things from this summer. Make sure you check the description below for links to everything that I've talked about. I don't get any money if you click on the link and you make a purchase. It's just for your benefit alone. If I ever start to do affiliate links, I will make sure to tell you guys and it will be in my description below. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.